So the British uh, were on the left of the staircase, that's correct? Pardon? The British were on the left of the staircase. Yeah. And so what was this, what was this here, this, 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 this room here, I've forgotten. What was in there? Uh, I do not know exactly if it really was part of the kitchen. Yes. Uh, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. But maybe it looked a little bit the other way. Okay, and so how did, how, how did, uh, how did Pat get in there? Um, they were allowed, but I do okay. not know which door they, they okay. went through. Yeah. I but even so, the fact that he got that, in, yeah. It was uh, I instead of this uh, open area, there yeah. had been another building. Ah, oh, here. Was named the, okay. the evidence room where German yeah. officers met sometime yes. and there were room, uh, places to sit down. Yeah. Uh, we can find in after the battle some old photos. Yeah. I can show you. At the little place uh, under the corner, mm -hmm. uh, this had been the canteen. Yes. The place where they could buy things. Yeah. You know, they got their money. Yeah, they got the pay. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, it is also part of the Geneva Convention that the enemy had to pay oh, yeah? prisoners no. uh, of war, uh, which the Germans thought maybe is a bit uh, a special rule, mm -hmm. and they made uh, for that case a special money. Yeah, Lager Which was Gales. working yeah. only Sorry. in this. Yes, case. yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes Lager sense. Gales. You can't give them real money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, um, what they should have done, of course, was give them, just before they got captured, give them everybody a big pay rise, and so it would have bankrupted the, the, the German economy. <laughs> That side, the German courtyard, had a building which was as high as the windows mm -hmm. and has a, had a same flat roof like this little shed we have now. Yeah. Uh, and it was nearly that size, but even more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, filling all the place between this corner and, and over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he thought it's such an easy thing to open such a window. Yeah. Uh, to go on the flat roof, mm -hmm. and if you are careful and you crawl, uh, you can have uh, the other side, and you are you have already half the courtyard, yes. half the German courtyard. He also had noticed that sometimes the little door close to the tower there, the the, the yeah. round one, yeah. the other one had not been there. The yes, last one, yeah, new. that's new. Yeah, yeah, the old one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that this was not locked very careful. How did you know that? Uh, when he had been uh, in in the kitchen, maybe preparing some uh, breakfast, some mm -hmm. uh, ham or some yeah. what they got from home in, the, in, yeah. in their, their tins, some corned beef or whatever, mm -hmm. they were allowed to use some parts of the kitchen to mm -hmm. prepare own meals. Yes. Uh, and so looking out all the time, he noticed this and he had the idea. There is a door, and he knew the other side of that building, there's a vineyard with terraces. Mm -hmm. So that the windows, uh, like here, are very close uh, to the outside. Mm -hmm. You have not to jump down even. You only open the window and you go out, mm -hmm. or only a, a short jump. Yeah. Uh, and so his idea was, if it would be possible to cross that courtyard, mm -hmm. uh, to come into that door, it uh, can't be a difficult thing to open a window and to go out the other side, and later to disappear in the park. This mm -hmm. was the plan he yes. made. Uh, the problem, uh, down in the, in the courtyard, where the cover of the sewerage is now, somewhere there, yeah. uh, uh, there had been always a guard. Yeah. And he did not know how to ma uh, make him uh, look away or yes. uh, be not in his story. Yes, uh, to distract uh, him. Mm -hmm. uh, the rooms nearby, uh, we will go later. In the courtyard yeah. you will see that there are some rooms, windows looking in that courtyard, which belong to the building which is behind here. Mm -hmm. The building where the higher ranked officers uh, had been in. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also Douglas Bader was a man, mm -hmm. and William Faithful Anderson, two higher-ranked British officers. Mm -hmm. uh, and discussing uh, this idea a little bit, they said, this is no problem. Uh, we are so familiar what the Germans are doing in their courtyard. Same time, same place, every day, mm -hmm. same procedure. So it, it is no problem for us to give you the sign when is the right moment that the guard looks a little bit the other side or has uh, a few steps mm -hmm. uh, somewhere else and you can cross over. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, they made some agreements about uh, how to make him know that's now the right moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Anderson and Bader had uh, been uh, uh, musicians mm -hmm. and they decided they will do a little evening concert. Mm -hmm. They started already uh, a few weeks before the story uh, mm -hmm. should start. Uh, and so they, uh, when the Germans asked what they are doing, they said, we have training units for uh, some concerts. Mm -hmm. So they, they made some music, they interrupted, like musicians do when they have to, mm -hmm. to find out uh, that's okay or yeah. it's something mistaken or so. Uh, the agreement for the escape, which should start in the middle of October 1942, was that Bader and Anderson and some others, mm -hmm. will stop their music when is the right moment. The first stop after uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. yeah? They started the music and when they stopped first, it was the right moment to jump down and mm -hmm. cross over. Pat Reed and three others, I have to find out the names, I think Hank Wardle was one. Yeah, they're all British, I can't remember yeah, the names yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, yes. I don't <laughs> they're all British, yeah. yeah. Uh, they uh, got the sign very shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, we can even have uh, uh, later a, a painting, which mm -hmm. was made by Anderson, and is written down uh, that they later said, shortest composition ever done. Yes. Because the right moment came very quickly. They mm -hmm. had started and the right moment came very quickly. So uh, they stopped the oboe playing. Mm -hmm. Anderson was the oboe player. Uh, Pat Reed uh, jumped down. It said it took a while, uh, and it was not as short as they thought. And by the way, the, the courtyard looked a bit uh, the other, uh, another way. Yes. Mm -hmm. But more or less, in, in some time, all could come safe over to that door. Yeah, but how did they get through the door? Even if it wasn't locked properly, it was That so day it was locked. It was locked? Yeah. And so they had a problem. They yeah. tried to open it by a false key. Yeah. Uh, the Polish and the Dutch were the lock pickers. They yeah. had very good keys, but that one did not fit. Mm -hmm. And now you have to wait a moment. We go round oh, and find we out follow what's... their way when I'll we find out what happened down there. Yeah, Pad Reed came out somewhere there. Uh, but wanna, at wanna the moment we can't go in, so that's why I took okay. it over Well, that's fair enough, yeah. the same side. Yeah. Yeah. And these ones are clearly new, or newer, I think, or maybe. What's new? The, on the, on the, the left-hand side. Only yeah. the outside. So, Pat, he jumped down here, and it would seem that there was a building, quite obviously he, he, there was something here. He was here. on the flat roof, you can yeah. see in, in after the battle, on yes. the photo. Yeah. Or even on our old photo in, 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 the, in, in another building. Okay, uh, he, he and then? He came over. Uh, to that door, yeah. and together with three comrades, they found out the door just that day is locked. Yeah. The, the key did not fit. Yeah. That's why they were crawling uphill. It seemed that the guards had not seen them. Yeah. Uh, that they said, maybe uh, either we do it, we find some way out, or we are going in solitary confinement yeah. if we are captured. Yeah. So let's take the steps upstairs. Okay. Up here, yeah, and along the wall. Along the wall, while this p other building was full of Wehrmacht staff, yeah, and the guard down there was doing his job. His job. His job. But yeah. He did not uh, yeah, yeah. realize that there are four. Uh, Br the British POWs crawling yeah, yeah. up here, right? <laughs> and this is let's remember a high, a maximum security prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. I have to. Oh, we've got something. What, this looks like the coal bunker or something. Yeah. Uh, no, the real coal. Uh, this was there. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> this was uh, not here. Yeah. They found a door. Uh, okay. A, I suppose a flat one going in a cellar. Yeah. And this had not been locked. Yeah. Uh, like it is today. Yes. <laughs> I have to. That was convenient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was no light. Was no light. Without light. Um, I think. I think. I think we're going to see more with the light. Yeah. Did they have a light? Oh. I do not know if they had such a little <laughs> light or something. But uh, it's necessary not to to hit. There, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, So this is a cellar. Yeah. Be... I do not know if it was as clean, and this had not been here. Oh no, yeah, it's yeah. clean. That's clean. It's not 
uh, uh, totally uh, like they had had more or less. Yeah. And when they came to the other side, we are now. They realized ah. there's really a little way out. Yeah. Uh, they were maybe a bit happy in the first moment, then a bit uh, upset that it is so small, uh, and they said, ah, it "Should be a bit, have a bit more centimeters." Yeah. Uh, but they said. We are young, we are slim. Yeah. Maybe it's only that we have too much on our body. It must be possible to go through. Yeah. Uh, they tried, they made a strip first. Yeah. You have not to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then they were helping each other to go through that small hole. Uh, outside, you see that there is grass and there are bushes. This is the yeah. top of the vineyard terrace. Yes. They had put out their clothing first. Yes. And like British like to say, they came out at the end all together in their birthday suits. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> they dressed again and going down to the park uh, and finding a, a, a weak point, a place where they could leave the Carter's area. They came out of the camp in the middle of October 1942. Yeah, not a good time to escape in. Yes, maybe weather well, yeah. like today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, at the end, the bright uh, sunny days were not the best ones. It's easier to go in such a weather. Uh, the Germans yeah, also yeah, did not yeah. like to go yeah, out, sure. and it was a bit grey and rainy and smoggy and foggy, maybe. Uh, they were not going to call it station where they arrived. Yeah. But they knew the railway is going south, and that's what they had to do as well. So by step or by feet. They followed the railway about 15, 20 miles. Mm -hmm. uh, the little place, which is named Penig. I know that is. Yeah. 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 Have you been there? No. I've seen it on the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Penig. Uh, it was the place where they went on train, mm -hmm. uh, going later to Chemnitz, Nuremberg, Ulm. Mm -hmm. They found a way going southwest and they could reach the Switzerland border and even cross successfully. And so this had been the start of a successful escape attempt. Very good. Now, shall I see if I can get out through this way? Pardon? Shall I see if I can get out? <laughs> Would you like to test it? <laughs> I don't want to get up this wall, the ground. Let's yeah. have a look at the wall. There's the wall. Yeah. Can I get up there? Well, I mean, I could get over a wall like that there 25 years ago. I wouldn't have had much trouble. I'm not that fat. <laughs> I might give it yeah. a try, so I claim one. Yeah. Oh no, I've got my, I've got my new clothes on, on my new coat. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have, that's it. 